Hello there parents. The following guide is intended to help familiarise you with the features of the iParent app and to support you in guiding between the different navigation tabs. You will see on my screen I've already downloaded the application, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. The app opens on the dashboard screen where I can see today's events or the calendar and also any news items which may have been posted previously. To open up an event, simply click on it. So here I can see a news item that has been posted to inform parents about the change to our term two midterm holidays. To return to the main screen, I simply click, click on the dashboard button in the top left hand corner of my screen. The today's events is like your calendar. By clicking on there, you can see any particular events that are happening. You can then press any additional links to open things up. The next tab we'd like to talk you through is the My Children's tab. The My Children's tab displays the name of your children. You can select one of your children by pressing their name. The administrative options allows you to view the full profiles of your child. Within here, you will see their form tutors or any other teachers, what house they're in and what class they are in. Click the child's name in the top left hand corner to return to your dashboard. The academic options allows you to view or download the school's timetable, academic reports and where applicable any examination information. From here, I can scroll through and I can see what lessons and the times of each lesson for your children. In pastoral options, we will only be using the attendance and registration modules. I can click on the attendance and registration and I can check to see if my child is present in school. The next tab we'd like to explain to you is a communications tab. The communications tab displays my contact details. Select the arrow beside view my contacts to view your family's contact details. Contact details can only be changed or updated by the parent portal. You are not able to change them using this application on your phone. The contacts are displayed for your family. Selecting the arrow next to your name will show your full details that we have recorded in our system. This will show your phone numbers and your address. Please do check this tab because if any details are incorrect, you must update them to ensure we can contact you as and when. The next tab we'd like to discuss with you is the information tab. The information tab is where you can view and search for school news, daily bulletins, calendar documents and files and website links. Schools news options include current news, archive news or search by news subject. Current news can be grouped by category or not grouped and displayed by date order. Select the arrow beside a news article to view the content. To read a school news article, you select by the side of the relevant article. If there are documents to view, these will be coloured green. Links to websites or electronic forms are coloured yellow. Options include current news, archive news view, or search by news subject. I'm going to return to the main dashboard. We will not currently use the daily bulletin. Our news items will be shared by a school news or the calendar. Calendar options include today's school calendar. You can view by date or you can search. By clicking on the date at the top, the calendar will open and you can jump to a particular month and a day within that month to view any items that you would wish to read about. Documents and Files is where you can view and download a range of useful documents, including the academic calendar and our school policies. This section will be constantly updated with additional information.
The final two things we would like to share with you is the notifications tab. If we ever need to send an urgent broadcast notification message, we would send it here. For example, if the roads are flooded due to rain or a last minute decision is made to close the school for the day, we would notify you through here. Back on the main screen here, in the top right hand corner, the word account can be seen. The My Settings allows you to view your account, manage schools, review general settings, device integration and push notification. You can also rate the app to tell a colleague or friend about it. I'm going to go into the My Settings now. Within My Account, you can view your email address, your login history and you can also select to log out from here. Please note that to change your portal or app password, this must be done via the parent portal. This cannot be done within the application. The Manage School feature is really handy if you have children at another school who also use the iSAMS parent app because you'll be able to navigate all your children through one app by adding different schools. The General Settings tab offers you information about the app. If you select the Reset button, you'll be required to log in again with your username and password. We hope that these videos have helped you to understand the iParent app. Thank you.